So I decided to start a blog slash portfolio for silly projects on my channel. Why? Because nothing says, look at how quirky and creative I am like throwing together a website. And what better way to show off my technical ability by using a random front end framework that I barely understand. Enter Next.js. I've never used Next.js. I've never used React before. I, I haven't used React in like four years. Um, and a little part of me just wants to like understand what like Ben and Theo are talking about when they do stuff. So I, I want to be cool like them. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be a React front end guy and use Next, but I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> After downloading a sample app and getting it to run, I wanted to start with something simple, something low pressure to help me understand how the application worked. And what's more simple than changing an image? I spotted this big generic hero image on the home page and thought, perfect, I'll just replace that with something more personal. How hard could it be? I want to show a cat right here and it's not showing up. And the way that it came up was I searched up cat and naturally, like, of course, this is the cutest cat of the bunch, but when I go to it, and I don't even know if you guys could see this, if you right click, uh, it says, please be respectful of copyright. And all that does is make me want to use this cat even more. So this, basically, this journey is basically me trying to get this cat into my blog. I hope that made sense. I figured swapping out an image would be a great way to familiarize myself with the file structure and would be an easy win to feel like I accomplished something. And of course, it had to be a cat. The internet runs on cats. My blog would be no different. Seemed like an easy win. Spoiler, it was not. A quick Google search later, I found the perfect cat photo. It was majestic, powerful, exactly what I needed. But the corporate overlords wasn't about to let me copy their hard-earned cat content that quickly. All I want is this cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go mad. It was like they knew I was trying to swap a hero image without paying for the rights. Finally, I started to poke around the HTML and after digging through the DOM, I found the URL and copied it like a true internet detective. With the URL in hand, I excitedly pasted it into my project, except I guess that's not where the URL goes. Um, so instead of a glorious Nat Geo cat, I got nothing. Just an empty space where my hopes and dreams used to be. For some reason, the little profile picture showing up but the big one isn't, and it's the same URL. So I gotta figure that out. At this point, I had no idea why the image wouldn't load. I figured out that the image was coming from the first page's hero post component, which contains a cover image, which is actually just an image. I went to the definition of the image, and I saw that there was a link to documentation, so naturally I opened up Chrome and Googled my problem, ignoring the documentation completely. There's documentation, so instead of reading the documentation, I'm just gonna Google my question. Turns out Next.js doesn't just blindly trust any old image from the internet. It needs you to explicitly allow remote image sources in a file called next.config.js. And guess what? My project didn't have one of those. But I am, <laughs> but that didn't stop me from embarrassingly opening every config file thinking that maybe it had a different name. Uh, it turns out I just had to make it myself. And this is looking through every config file that I can. This is the latest version. It says that there should be a, a config file. I wonder if I could just add it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna add it. And then I guess, what, what do I need to set? I need to set a images, a remote pattern. I'm just gonna set it to the, the suffix or the, the URL itself. Ah, sweet! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's a cute cat. That is a cute cat and that was worth the, the 30 minutes it took to <laughs> put that cat as a placeholder. <laughs> that's awesome. I think a big takeaway from this video is that you could be a professional and little things are still kind of difficult.